Hey buddies and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are taking a closer look on the do's and don'ts of pimple popping. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up because I love the support from all of you. And yes, I read the comment section and I'm in love, love, love and taking in all the notes. Now, buddies, we've got a stubborn one today. This little guy here doesn't want to budge. But don't worry, we're going to get it out. Now, before we dive into this one extraction, I would like to take a moment to talk about a lifesaver in the skincare game for everyone suffering with HS, any skin disorders, eczema, cysts, anything you've got. Let me introduce you to my magic healer. Let's talk about something we've all been searching for. A real solution for our skin without the heavy antibiotics or steroids. I've teamed up with my magic healer to introduce to you the universal salves. Trust me, this product is a complete game changer for any troubled skin. Here are two of my favourite clients that suffer with HS finding relief after using the universal salve on their skin. Crafted from time-proven formulas, this solve is perfect for inflamed, swollen or irritated skin. It's generally the best product I've ever used on any client and even on myself. A total game changer for HS, eczema, for the colitis, acne or any skin that just needs extra love and healing. And you know that's all I'm about, guys. Look at the results after applying the green solve on my client and check out this before and after for all you international clients that can't come to me personally for your extractions look at this stubborn boil that's completely deflated and healed without any extraction process amazing especially for something that could linger for years and there's more whether it's boils eye styes or those tricky lumps and bumps this universal solve has got you covered each picture tells a story of gentle pain-free healing now check out this transformation i done on my client's underarm now let's break it down we first have the purple solve this tackles 97 percent of any common skin issues and then you have my favorite which is the green solve for stubborn inflammations and cystic acne and does it not smell amazing with the tea tree and thyme and this one's for my sensitive skin buddies and then we have the yellow solve a baby to the original but essential oil free perfect for those open wounds and i'm going to be using it on this boil here today i'm sharing these discoveries because i know they work so let's share support and uplift each other and dive into a world of universal solve at mymagichealer.com now let's get back into the video now when it comes to popping pimples there are definitely some do's and don'ts to keep in mind especially if you want to maintain clean healthy clear skin as you can see with this ingrown my client has previously tried to apply pressure and pick this ingrown out herself as you can see there are many tunnels underneath the skin and there are actually three holes in this extraction site which is not good as you can see she's created the holes herself as to why it's easier for the hairs to clog and be underneath the skin surface unfortunately for her she will now have tunneling wounds underneath the skin which is very clear to see here and the only way to get rid of that is through having a cosmetic procedure done so any cosmetic surgery where they can basically burn off the skin on the top so that there's no more tunnels underneath the skin and nobody even wants that surgery so i always tell my clients don't worry just live with it it will get filled up sometimes with dirt and sweat and oil but that's just natural they could either come in and book an extraction or use a dry brush and use a natural solution topically but look at that beauty look how it's come out so okay not easily but we got there at the end now let's start with the do's number one 
pick the right pimples. Not all pimples are created equally. It's crucial to wait until a pimple has a firm white head or black head before attempting to pop it. To the naked eye, this new extraction I'm showing you guys now on the screen. This ingrown has been in my client for some time now. She's actually got it previously extracted before, but she said it came out of nowhere and appeared again. So I did my little examination and I don't know if you can see that little hole on the side of the ingrown, but this is a new ingrown extraction site. I told her the previous ingrown, I could see where the person made their incision, which I'm making now using a lancet. And that ingrown is gone. But a new one has appeared and sometimes this just happens due to the bacteria in the area and just due to your skin being prone to getting clogged again. As you can see, there's an indication of the pus and bacteria being so close to the surface. But this actually makes it easier and safer for us to extract. Now, to avoid cross-contamination and any further inflammation or infection, we need to make sure our cleanliness is key. I'll usually clean my clients with an antibacterial soap or a cleanser, which is water-based, before performing any extractions. This will minimise the risk of introducing bacteria to the site and cause any further infections or inflammations. Now, if I was to use any tools, such as a needle for lancing, which you saw me do prior, it's essential to sterilise these properly. This can be done by washing the needle with any antibacterial soap and water, then dipping it into some barbicide, ensuring your tools are clean. This will help reduce the risk of introducing any harmful bacteria onto the skin. Now, lancing a pimple, you need to be gentle and precise. As you can see in this video, look how it only comes out of one area as I was very precise of where I was lancing it. It is key to position the needle parallel to the surface of the skin and pierce the tip of the ingrown white or the white head. This helps to create a small opening for the pus to escape without causing unnecessary trauma to the surrounding skin. But don't worry guys, this can still happen regardless because everyone's skin is different. So don't worry if we see any darkness around the area. But we just want to do our best to not scar the skin and cause trauma. Once we created our opening, as you can see, I'm using gentle pressure to the surrounding area so we can get out all of that pus. Now, with just the colour of the pus, I can tell this ingrown has been here for quite some time. But with extracting an ingrown like this, especially in the inner labia, you want to take your time. And just like that, it will come out nicely and smoothly when you get the right pressure. Now, let's talk about some don'ts. What we don't want to do is force it. If a pimple or an ingrown doesn't have any visible white head or opening or is deeply embedded below the surface of the skin, it is best to leave it alone. Attempting to pop these type of pimples can cause more harm than good. It's like adding fire to the fire, leading to increased inflammation scarring and potential infection number two please do not use dirty tools guys using unclean tools or your fingers to pop pimples without cleaning them or gloves just introduce bacteria to the site and increases the risk of infection and further breakouts always ensure your tools are properly sterilized before use now, as you can see on this client, I am not squeezing too hard. So that goes on to number three. Don't squeeze too hard, guys. Applying excessive pressure to a pimple can cause trauma to the skin and lead to further inflammation. And you guys at home, before these clients come to me, they will be squeezing their skin to the brim. And then I'll see the dark marks and I'll be like, girl, 
what have you been doing? Oh, girl, why is there so much holes surrounding the extraction site? And she'll be like, I tried to take it out myself. I tried because I couldn't book an appointment or I was too busy or you're so far away. And it's like you're causing more harm than good. Please, girl, just book an extraction or better yet, Follow my videos and do the, all the other alternatives you can do if you don't want to do an extraction. We need to be patient. We need to be gentle when popping these pimples. We need to allow the pus to express naturally. Or we're going to have a prolonged healing time. And we're going to make the area darker than it needs to be. And number four, let's not neglect the aftercare baddies. After popping a pimple... It's essential that we clean the area. Now, I like to clean the area with witch hazel. Witch hazel is my fave, guys. If you know me, you know I use witch hazel for everything. It's nature's natural serum for as a cleansing agent and as a toner, which is great. I like to apply it topically using a cotton bud. And I soothe it like a solve to promote healing and prevent any further infections because this is a fresh open wound now and we have fully extracted it and if there's nothing left it shouldn't return it's now essential to clean up the area around the pop pimple with some aloe vera gel or witch hazel and after popping apply an acne product containing salic acid to prevent any more ingrowns or pimples from returning this will break down any remaining sebum in the pore and that's very crucial because we don't want this returning again in my client no thank you i don't want her to return to me some people will use ice packs or topical treatments like ibuprofen gel to reduce the swelling after popping a pimple but i like to use my magic healer solve and this is now a solve that comes with no essential oil and it's steroid free and it's the best traditional thing on the market and guys please like you just need to try it and once you do you will be amazed like for anything like this is magic. Anyways, I just apply a bit of this on my client. You just need a thin layer. Um, because we've already extracted the pimple, I won't be covering it. So it's completely fine. But if there was still some sebum inside, I would cover it with a gauze. So this is going to reduce swelling after me extracting the area and also minimise the risk of scarring and will deflate any the sebum that will come out and it will drain naturally remember baddies while popping pimples can be tempting it's essential to do it safely and hygienically and if you're not sure it's always best to leave it to a professional like myself or use a herbal solution if there's any other topics you want me to discuss please interact with me in the comment section below and make sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video Mwah. bye baddies enough to deserve you I might have to break these walls Whoa. Scared enough to desert you Or would you catch me